Four people are now confirmed to have died after an explosion struck an oil platform in the Gulf of Mexico. These are the latest pictures. Up to 45 people have been hurt, while nearly 300 workers have been evacuated to safety. The rig is operated by the Mexican state energy firm Pemex, which says on Twitter that the fire broke out overnight. RT contacted the company by phone, but it's refusing to provide any further information. Well, RT's Alexei Yaroshevsky joins me now to discuss this matter further. Alexei, uh, good to see you there. So Pemex might not really be familiar uh, to too many viewers. Tell us about the company. Well, Pemex can definitely be described as um, Mexico's oil and gas giant. It is the biggest company there, operated by the government since 1938. It produces um, uh, more than 3.6 million barrels of oil per day and is ranked eighth largest oil uh, company in the world. Now, uh, if we talk about the company's record in terms of accidents and different calamities which have happened to it over the past years, um, the biggest one happened in 1984 when an explosion at an LNG facility belonging to Pemex um, almost completely devastated a nearby, nearby town of uh, San Juanico and more than 600 people were killed. The most recent uh, accident happened in 2012 um, uh, near the uh, town of uh, Reynosa in Mexico, in mainland Mexico, not in the Gulf, not in the, uh, in, on the water. Um, also 26 people were killed during an explosion at a gas facility belonging to Pemex. We are still in the very early stages of this particular incident and we're getting information uh, in bits and pieces, uh, but we do know, as you've said, uh, 40 five people have been confirmed as injured, four uh, have apparently died, but we are looking to see whether this accident could be as uh, drastic as uh, the previous accidents involving the Pemex company. We'll of course keep our viewers updated with all the latest details as we get them. Alexei, thank you very much for the update. Uh, he's Alexei Adashevsky. Well, it's not the first oil-related accident in the Gulf of Mexico. Almost exactly five years ago, there was a spill at a BP rig. Eleven workers died and almost five million barrels leaked. A similar catastrophe at a Pemex platform in 1979 led to over three million barrels gushing into the sea. We asked Tom Burke, who runs the environmental think tank E3G, what he thinks is the root cause of such accidents. We've got... This accident's happening at a time when the oil price has fallen very steeply and very unexpectedly, and that means that companies everywhere are cutting back on their costs and their investment. Mm. And inevitably, that increases the risk that something will go wrong. Remember, what happened to BP was in part because there was downward pressure on costs at that time within BP. And it does lead, or it can lead, if you're not extremely careful, to real errors of judgment. Well, the incident at the uh, Pemex rig has seen a quick reaction on the crude markets. Oil has jumped to almost 50 US dollars per barrel, which is the highest in the last five days.